Hi, Infrenodus is a tool that helps you create text network visualizations so you can better understand, store and connect your ideas. I'm going to show you how it works. First we need to create a new graph by clicking the menu button and entering the name of the text. Then we can either use the text field here to enter our data or we can also activate voice input. This is a word. This is a phrase that has several words. When the words are next to each other in the phrase, there is a connection between them. Now I can say something else using a different vocabulary and it will be visualized as another graph. These graphs represent the different topics inside our discourse, the islands of meaning circulation. We can make a connection between those islands if we use the words from the first phrase. The more often the words are used together in the same phrase, the stronger is the connection between them in the graph. The bigger words in the graph are the ones that have bigger influence in the discourse. Now, if I talk about an island that has a lot of palm trees and a beach and the sea, then the word island will become much bigger on the graph because it connects the discourse to a new part. We can see on the graph that the different topics are represented with different colors. Like this we can have a quick overview of all the different meanings present inside this text. I'm going to show you also the analytics pane which you can use to see what are the main topics inside. So for example, if I click on graph discourse, I can see what are the texts that contain this information. Here we have uh, these graphs represent the different topics inside our discourse, the islands of meaning circulation. I can also see the most influential words in this discourse. These are the island, the graph, the word, an interesting feature is also a recommendation of a question to ask, so it identifies structural gaps in the graph and proposes a question. What is the relation between graph, discourse and island boundary? So in response to this, I could say that uh, the words of a topic are like trees at an island and then a forest of trees is like a text itself. There we go, the connection is added into the graph and we now have quite a coherent visualization of the text. 